In our previous video, we had seen a try data structure where we had implemented uh, the insert functionality, search, and starts with these three functionalities we had inserted. That is how we can insert different words into a try, uh, search it, and also if some prefix is there in the try or not. Uh, then I realized that I had not given enough examples there. The main goal there was to have some brief understanding of this try data structure. And uh, with that uh, brief understanding and some limited examples, uh, we started coding and we had implemented that in C++, Java and Python. So this will be kind of a supplement of that. In fact, this uh, video should be understood uh, first in order to implement, go to the implementation part. So let's see some more examples of it. And this will be only focused on examples so that you have good understanding of prefix data structure. So let's run through some words. Let's say my corpus or my list contains of these words. And uh, in future, I would like to uh, search on exact words and prefix in these words. And we want to insert all of them in a try. So how we will do that? So let's limit our uh, case to small letter English alphabets. That is small a to small g. So total 26 characters only. This makes the understanding easier. So first we have to insert two. So this is our first word. So currently try is empty. So nothing is there. This is the root node. Uh, it has 26 pointers, just like a binary tree will have left and right pointers, which themselves are node. If this structure is node, it has two more pointers to node, which are left and right node. But these can be null also. This is also a binary tree, although it does not have two uh, children, it can have maximum two children. Similarly here, uh, not all 26 uh, child will be present, children will be present. Uh, only the characters which come in the first character, first letter, they will be present here at the first level. So you see T is there a few times, then I is there, C is there. So T, I, and C, these three children will be non-null. So we want to insert two. So we will see that whether T children is null or null. So T is null initially because no, we have not inserted it. So we'll create a node for T. So this node denotes T. The next letter is O. So at this node, we are now here. We will see whether O is null or not. So every node will have pointer to 26 node. First will denote A, second will denote B, and the last one will denote Z. So here T was not present, it was null, so we created a new try node for T. Then next we go to O, again we look at O, that is 15th child, 15th child is null, so we create a 15th child, a new try node, and this denotes O. Now we have reached the end of word. So we add an additional flag here. Let's say I denote this as the end of word. And this normal as a normal try node, which is somewhere in the middle. So it can be uh, end of word for some word, but it can be middle word for some other word. Let's say TO, here O is the end of word for two, but if we want to insert TONE, so we will follow this same path. We will come here, we will see that T is already present. So we will go here, next is O. We will check O is present or not. O is already present, so we come here. Next is N, we will see if N is present or not, no. So we will create one. So let's add T-O-N-E also here. So uh, we create one node for N. The next is E. E is also not here. We will create a new node and assign it to fifth child. Fifth is the E. And now mark it as end of word. So you see here O is end of word. That means some word has ended here also. So T-O is a word, valid word. And you can see that it's a word here. And T-O-N-E is also valid here. E denotes end of word. So we have inserted T 
T-O and T-O-N-E. Next, let's insert T. So we see T is there or not. T is there, yes. Next letter is E. E is not there. So we create one node for E. Then A. So first child will be A. Create A. And mark it as end of word. So T-E-A is done. Then T-E-D. This is TED. So TED is also done. Then 10. So T is there. E is there. N is not there. So let's create one more and it's 10. Better to draw them in order. Although you will have one array of 25 sides where zero index will denote A, one will denote B and Z will denote 25. And uh, if the number of characters are large, instead of having a fixed size array, you will have a hash map where whenever you encounter a new word, new letter, you insert it into it. So initially it was empty. You found T. You found a few words starting with T. So you inserted T here and a pointer to the try node, this, this, this node. So this again will have a T O. So it will have entries for O and a hash map and, and a pointer to node and also E and another try node pointer and this in turn will keep on doing. So here we are just using fixed size 25 children. Now we have inserted till 10. Next is I. So we check if I is there or not. I is not there so we create one. So this node notes I and this is just single letter word. So this itself is end of word. Then we want to insert in. So I is there already. N is not there. So we create one node for N and mark it as end of word. Next we insert I double N. So I is there, N is there. Next N is not there here. So we create one more node. This denotes I N N. Then we have cat. So C is not there here at the root. C child is null. So we create one. A is not there. Create one. T is not there. So we create it. And mark it as end of word. Then cab. C is there. A is there. B is not there. So create one. Camera. C is there. A is there. M is not there. So create one for M. Then next is E. R. A. And this is end of word. Now we have inserted all of these words in a try. So now we will no longer need to look at these individual words. If any search is to be performed, it will be performed on this try. Now it's time to look at the search process. We have done with insert. Insert is done. Next search. And next starts with that is prefix search. So search searches for exact word. And starts with searches for prefix also. Let's say cam is not there. Cam is not a word. But if I search does any word start with cam, then we will return true. But if we say does cam exist, then we will say no. So let's see the search process. So let's say I want to search a cat. Uh, so we see, uh, we come to the root, we start with the root. We see whether it's third child is null or not. So we see third is not null since C is the third letter in the English alphabet. So C is there. Next we see whether, next we come here and we see A is there or not as its child. So we see that A is there. So we come here. Next we find T is there or not. So again we come here and we find cat. So this node denotes cat. This is end of word. Similarly this node denotes cab. So each end of word will denote a word. This denotes I, this denotes I N, this denotes I N N. 
Uh, now let's search some other word. Let's say I want to search n. So we come here at the root. We see whether t is null or not. t is not null, so it's fine. We go to the next. Here we see e is there or not. So we find a node corresponding to e. We come here. Then we see n is there or not. And we again find n also. And then we check whether this is end of the word or not, since we have reached the end of word for search term. So we also check if this node is end of word or not. So we see it is, so we return true. Uh, now let's search something which is not there. Let's say I want to search uh, class. So we see, we come to the root, we find whether C is present or not. So C is present, so that's fine, we come here. Now we go to the next letter, we see whether L is present or not. So, so the node corresponding to L, the pointer corresponding to L node is null. Initially all 26 are null, while inserting we were inserting them on need basis. So L is null. So we stop here and we return false. And let's say I want to search whether cabs is present or not. So we see C is not null, so we come here. A is not null, we come here. B is not null, we come here. So we are here. Then uh, we see that S. So we here look for S, whether this S node is there or not. So it's null, so we return false. Similarly, uh, let's say I want to search 2. Or uh, let's say I want to search TE. So I see T is here, E is here. We have reached end here, so we we are here and we check whether this is end of word or not. This is not end of word, that means this word has not occurred in the dictionary on which we have inserted it. So we return false, although we found TE. But if I say, if some word starts with TE, then we will return true. So we come here, we found it, E also we found. We don't need to check end of word and return true. So this should give you some idea about tree data structure if you are not already aware. And uh, this is also a very small uh, set of words. So you can see lots of nodes are null still. For example, for this node, only three nodes are non-null and rest 22 pointers are null. So A is not there, B is not there, C is not there, C is there, D is not there. Similarly, others are not there. Only C, I and T are there. If you come here, just one node is used. Rest 25 are null. Here, three are used. Rest 22 are null. But if you repeat this process, that is your data set is very large, then uh, many of these nodes will not be null. Although you will see null later after three, four levels, but in the beginning, some of the levels will be completely filled or almost filled.